Hello ladies, it's been a while since I made a video, but I wanted to do one. I said I would do one on the lace hem that I was taught by Jeannie Bowmeister. And Jeannie, I took a class with Jeannie at Saga, at the Saga convention. And if you've never taken a class with her, you really should. Her techniques are awesome. And she taught this one. And so I thought, well, I will show everybody ask about it. So I thought I would show it to you. It's taking a piece of insertion and a piece of lace edging and sewing those two together sometimes you can buy it where it looks like that already where you have an insertion that's already a, has a an attached piece of lace to the bottom an edging but if you don't and you want to do what i'm doing you just get a piece of insertion and a piece of lace edging and you do a zigzag tiny zigzag those together and i use i'm using a a tiny zigzag the width is 2.0 and the length is 1.0 and I don't use anything to start it as you can see I just put it on the machine it's I kind of it's kind of a part at the edge I moved down enough that it will sit on there and hold it and then I just start sewing it and I don't pull on it I let it go freely and it and it zigzags really pretty and then when I get through with this I will show you how to attach it to the skirt here you can see that I've already stitched this lace together, the lace, the insertion, and the lace edging. Now I have pinned it to my little We Care gown, and you pin it so that just the heading of this is off the edge of the fabric. And I'm gonna flip it and show you here if I can with one hand. You can see it's just barely off the edge, and that's what Jeannie says to do in her instructions. Now, if you were in her class, you would be doing this by hand, but since you're in this video, watching this video, it's by machine. And so I'm going now to go and stitch right over this line right here. And then this is the wrong side of the lace to the wrong side of the gown. And so I'm gonna stitch it on just right down where I stitched the two pieces together, and then I'll flip it and show you what to do next. Here you can see that I've sewn it on right down with a little bit of that edging. There's some that's a little bit more than the others along the edge, but now we're gonna flip it to the right side. And when I say flipping it to the right side, as you can see, I have flipped this up, and this is what we're doing. We're just taking this and folding it up so that then your edging is at the bottom and your insertion is up over the fabric, which is enclosing that raw edge of that hem. And then I'm gonna press that like that. Now I'm gonna turn this off so I can finish it and then I'll go show you how to stitch it. Now that it's been pressed, I just take it back to the machine and you just sew straight down that header with a, with a tiny, I use, well, I'm using a 2.5 length and width, so just a straight stitch. And then it's all done. And your hem is the raw edges are enclosed under that lace. And on the back side, it, I'll show you that when I'm finished. All right, it's all finished. It's sewn down on this edge here. This is what the inside looks like. As you can see, the hem is all finished, closed in. There's nothing there, no raw edge. Looks really pretty and it's all finished. Hope you enjoyed this little video and give all the credit to Jeannie Bowmeister for this great tip on how to do a hem. She calls it the magic hem. And if you've not taken a class, like I said, go sign up for a class with Jeannie Bowmeister. Have a great day.